everybody. It's Thursday, October 3rd. Um, I haven't got a whole much done this week. Um, first, I want to thank everybody who came to my live last night because I was a cranky, venting woman. <laughs> um, it's just been like, <laughs> it's been a week. Let's, let's just say it's been a week. Um, I'm probably going to carry a little bit of that frustration into this video today. Um, because I did buy a bag design that I was super, super excited about, and it has been an epic fail. An epic fail. Um, but I will show you what I got made in the order that I made it. Um, I just made three more, um, little jumping spiders. Um, I think these are going to be popular now that we're getting closer to Halloween. Um, and I have sold some at each of my last couple of markets. So I took some over to Lisa's flower shop. I took some loaf cats over to Lisa. So I have to restock those. So I'll probably just pump out some more spiders and some more loaf cats. And then yesterday at work, I had a customer want a black and a white loaf cat. So I got to make those. And I, I, I feel like I'm so far behind, like, in what I want to get done for my markets. And I'm getting more hours than I want. Um, like, I, I am just, I'm so, like, cranky and stressed out. And I'm trying not to be. Um, I'm trying not to be. <laughs> so I made the three spiders. And then I made two more loaf cats and I used the Bernat Mystical Garen for these. Um, and I used 14 millimeter eyes and I used a six millimeter hook instead of 6.5 because I find this yarn is just a little bit thinner. Um, and I don't want to get holes in my project. So these will be $15 loaf cats. My larger loaf cats will be 18. So I got two loaf cats done. Then I got my Timu order. So um, I was really excited about that because I bought this. This is a zipper jig that is going to help me get my zipper pulls onto my zipper tape. I have been so frustrated trying to get my pulls on. Um, I even tried the fork, which works, but holding the fork and trying to install the zipper pulls, um, I was getting super frustrated. So I went on YouTube and I seen a couple of people use um, a zip, this is a, like a gypsy zipper jig, I think it's called. Um, so I hopped on Amazon and they wanted like almost like $40 Canadian for a piece of plastic. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. So I jumped on Timu, <laughs> $11. And I've already tried it and it works like a charm. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I can do number three zippers and number five zippers. And um, it's just, it's so much, so much easy, like, um, to get that. So for me being in Canada, I had to spend like $35 before they will even ship to Canada. So I'm like, well, I'll just buy some more zipper tape and zippers and zipper pulls and I'll, um, I'll get to my $35. No problem. So because last week I showed you all the pretty vinyl bags that I made, um, I thought I would order some really colorful zippers. So, because I had 40 more panels to run of the same bags that I showed you last week. So, I ordered some rainbow colored zippers. Um, I think I ordered like two different um, lengths. One for my 5x7 bags and one for my 6x9 bags. So, I got some pretty rainbow colored um, zipper tape and then I just ordered some like 
other colored zippers, teal, pink, fuchsia. And I didn't realize that these were the invisible zippers and I don't really care for these, but I might put those on my small fabric pouches, but I'm not gonna use them on my vinyl, my vinyl pouches. Um, so I got some zipper, zippers. Well, then I wanted to order some more zipper tape and I wanted some really pretty colored teeth. So I ordered this zipper tape and it comes with these um, just silver metallic poles. So I thought those would look nice on some on my larger bags. I'm not going to use them on my smaller bags, but I think the six by nine bags, I think that will look really, really nice. So I ordered that. And then I just ordered some more black zipper pulls. I ordered two packages of black because I use black a lot. And I also ordered some orange because I find the, the mixed packages of the colors. You only get five pulls of each color. And I can get more than five bags out of one thing of zipper tape that I had ordered. Um, I also ordered some fabric too. Just, I'm going to pause the video for a second. So I also got, oh, my phone keeps bouncing. Um, I hate this stand that my phone is on. Um, so then I needed to spend like five more dollars to get to my $35. So I'm like, I'm going to order some fabric and see what the fabric is like. And I ordered this. And I'm not sure what size it is. It's a pretty good chunk of fabric. There's no way I would get this at my local fabric store for $4. There's no way. Um, and it's actually a really good quality um, fabric. So now that I know like how pretty and good quality it, it is, I will definitely be ordering some more of this because I think this would be beautiful lining for my bags, like gorgeous. Love it. So I definitely will be ordering some more fabric. And they, and they had this like style in a bunch of different colors, um, but it's beautiful. And it's not thin, it's, it's real. I don't even think I'm gonna need, I don't even need to like add stabilizer to this. Like it's so, it's, it's, it's really good. Really good. Okay, so that's my little Timu haul. So then, um, and this is where I'm gonna get really cranky, <laughs> really cranky. Um, I need a sip of coffee. Mm. And there's been other things going on, like stress at work too, right? And crochet is usually my de-stressing mechanism, but because I haven't been able to pump out the crochet, it's stressing me out even more. So I turned to the vinyl bags, everything was going great. And then I follow this girl on Facebook, um, and she does like a live YouTube tutorial every two weeks. So a couple weeks ago, she featured, um, and it's not her design, she just, she bought it and ran it. And I'm trying to think of which was the first one I did. Okay, I, I, this is the first one I did. Anyway, um, I followed her tutorial. I bought the design and followed her tutorial. And the bag is super cute. I was so excited. But I didn't realize when I bought the file that there is a fully lined design and a partially lined design. And I installed the partially lined design on my machine, not realizing that. So the lining, like it's, it's I'm, I'm really not happy with it. Um, so the lining doesn't cover the whole top of the, the bag. It only lines like from here down. So 
I'm like, okay, I'm gonna delete that file off my embroidery machine and I'm gonna install the fully lined version. So I ran another one and I'm like, I'm not gonna use my good vinyl. I'm gonna use like vinyl that I ordered a while ago and not really happy with it. It's thinner. I thought, well, I'll, I'll run another bag and we'll see. And the exact same thing happened. Yeah, the same thing happened. There's no lining at the top. So I hot glued this one to where, like I'm still not gonna sell it. There's no way I would feel comfortable selling these bags. Um, I don't know why you would want a partially lined bag, especially if you're gonna sell it. Like to me, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, and then after I ran the second one, like this was the second one, I was like almost in tears. I was so frustrated and so mad. And I'm wasting all this material. I'm wasting hours of my time. Um, so I stopped. I did my live. I had my, my venting session. <laughs> and I was venting good. If you want to see me vent well, go watch my live from last night. So then I'm like, okay, I'm going to start fresh this morning and run one more bag. I got the lining right this time, but because I was so worried about the lining, I missed the small piece of vinyl that goes on the top of the zipper. So when I turned the bag inside out and was finishing it, my zipper, I mean, I tried to hot glue it down, but it's a mess. It's a mess. Um, and I'm not running no more. I'm not wasting no more materials because I think I could run another one and have it work because now I know what I'm doing and the mistakes that I made. But the thing that I don't like about this design is look at how small this top piece of vinyl is like on the uh, above the zipper. It's such a small piece of vinyl that it doesn't really lay flat. And the person who designed the bag, I watched her video and she's like, you have to lay something flat on it for like 24 hours. Like, I'm sorry, I don't feel like I should have to do that with a well-designed bag. So either make this panel a little bit bigger and have your zipper down a little bit further or this is this would be my preference have a top loading zipper like have the zipper at the very top of your design this is this this is why i like this bag so much it's so easy it's quick and if you had this design made for this bag i would be so happy but I'm not messaging the designer. I'm not even going to say who designed this bag. I don't want to give them a bad rap because it's probably all my frustrations. But in the PDF instructions, you run a spider first. And then you hang it from a ribbon and then you incorporate that into the bag. I didn't want to do the spider, so... I started reading the instructions for the bag and instead of having separate steps for the spider the bag starts at step 14 I wish she had the spider instructions separate and then step one of the bag to her I think there's like 13 steps to the to this bag but it starts at step 14 and I, I, I don't like that either. Like, I don't know. I just find it was very confusing. And I don't know. It, I, I, I think this is a super cute bag, but I don't like how, I don't like how small this piece of vinyl is. It needs to be longer. In my opinion, it needs to be longer. The zipper needs to be down a little bit. Or design it like, a top loading zipper 
I like the look of these ones. It's so much, because you only need two pieces of lining to line your bag versus three pieces of lining. You need a small line liner for the top and then a lining here and then a big piece of lining for the back. So you need three pieces of lining when your zipper is partially way down your bag. But I just feel like this is so small. It doesn't lay flat. Like this is thin vinyl, so this, this bag's not too bad. But the thicker vinyl, um, I mean, I kind of glued this one so you're not really going to see, but look at how that vinyl, and I made this yesterday. I even like ran an art, like iron over it quickly, but the vinyl, it does not lay flat. It's, it's, to, it's not big enough. It's not, it's not wide. It needs to be a little bit wider. So, these two bags are going in the garbage. Uh, Brenda said she would take a bag. This is probably the best one out of the three because I did, I did glue the, the lining, but I don't like how you can see your stabilizer. I would never sell a bag with visible stabilizer showing. I just wouldn't. Now, I think I think this design is like five years old, so I think it's time to revisit this design and maybe tweak it or something. Make 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 that top piece just a little bit wider. Or do a top zipper design. But those two bags are going in the garbage. I'm gonna give Brenda this one. She said her sister would love it. But the other two, garbage. And even though I think I know how to fix it, I'm not running another one. I'm so frustrated, and I, uh, it's, it's a waste. It was to me, it was a waste of money. And if you have this bag design and it works for you and you love it, that's great. But not for me. Not for me. Now I don't like I said. I don't know if I can go into my embroidery software and load my design for this. Luna bag and add the spider design to it. I, I don't think it's going to work because of how the shape is a little bit different. But I would totally do that. I would totally weld the spider into this bag design if I could. If I thought it would work. I totally would do it, but it's a different shape. So maybe I will look for another spider bag. I was really super excited about this design. I really was. And then, yeah. Like I have any, I have 40 more panels of these to run and I haven't run any of those this week. And it's 11 o'clock and I got to work at 1, so I think I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to crochet the two loaf cats for that customer that um, told me yesterday that she wanted a black and white one. So I think I'm going to go upstairs and run those. Oh, I also, before I jump off, um, I also made, <clears throat> I also made five more pickles because I have my pickles in a shop that's called Pieces of Wood in town and she got eight pickles maybe two months ago. Anyway, she messaged me the other day saying that she would like to have some more small pickles. So I got five pickles made. I got my little pickle tags printed off and I'm gonna attach those and then I will take those to her sometime this week hopefully but I got to work later and I'm not looking forward to it because it's a new promotion starting at work that's gonna be a nightmare um, so yeah that's my week I've been a cranky cranky woman 
very cranky woman. <laughs> but yeah, bags are going in the garbage. I'll give Brenda the one that I managed to fix. But these cannot be sold at all. Now, if I had to use a number five zipper instead of a number three zipper, my zipper might have been long enough to catch in that back seam. But am I going to run in a, another bag with a number five zipper to try it? If it works, that would be the bag that I would prefer having the zipper at, like at the top of the bag because I got the lining right in this one. <laughs> I finally got the lining right. See how you, you cannot see your cutaway or your, you know, you cannot see your stabilizer. But I had missed the, the small piece of vinyl that goes above the zipper. I missed that, I missed that step. Um, but if I had used a number five zipper that might have caught in the closing of the bag and it might have been fine, but I don't think I'm going to ruin any more vinyl trying to find out. Um, don't know. I might have to see how in the embroidery software how she has this run. And maybe see if I can move the stitches on this one to a top zipper design I'll have to I'll have to look at it because I really I really would like to have this this design with that on the front of it I, I just don't know if I'm that good in my software to pull it off but anywho um, I'm not gonna do a market this week I'm gonna go next week I've got some organizing to do and um, I haven't even felt like buying new crochet patterns at all. Um, it's not a good mood to be in before market prepping season. Like I have a month before my Christmas market and I don't think I'm going to get done what I want to get done. I have no snakes. I have no rose octopuses. I'm all from Jade. I, I'm, anyway, anyway, I don't want to be a needy Nelly, a Debbie Downer. I got a snap out of it, snap out of it, Heather. <laughs> so I'm going to jump off. I'm going to make two more low cats and then I'll be back with more makes, hopefully. And hopefully I'll be in a better mood. <laughs> um, I'll let you know how my first shift goes at work with that stupid new promotion. It's going to be a nightmare. But we will talk to you later. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Sunday, October 6th, um, it's got to be about 9 in the morning. Um, so I got some more crochet done, um, I went ahead and I made my customers black loaf cat and white loaf cat, so I got those two made. And she'll probably go to the market on the 13th because I think I'm going to sign up for that one. Um, so yeah, I got her white and black loaf cat done. Then I decided to make one more little loaf cat and this is out of my Joanne's haul. It's kind of like a... I don't know it's really subtle I really like it um, and I wish we could get this in Canada it's really pain in the butt that I can't get the pretty yarn in Canada um, so then I decided that I wanted to make another um, all from Jade's Rose the octopus and so I made another one and after I made it the next day, my wrists were on fire. So I went back into my YouTube videos and I looked at when I last made this. And I last made this like about the same time that my wrists really started bothering me. And I had made three of these back to back. 
So now I'm thinking it's this pattern that is killing me and I think it's just because of all the stitches that you have to do for the tentacles. So you chain 33 I think it is and then you do two single crochets in each chain. So that is a lot of repetition. So unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be making any more of these. I think this is what is causing my wrist pain. Which is really sad because this pattern does really well but if it's going to kill my wrist then I won't be making any more and I'm pretty sure that's what's doing it um, because my wrists have been pretty good this week until I did that feller so then last night I was watching my hockey game and I decided to pump out all from Jade's Tiana the Turtle because I haven't made one of these in quite a while and I have all this pretty Joann's yarn that I I bought so I made a Tiana the Turtle and I made the flippers one round bigger because I wanted them to be a little bit bigger than the pattern called for so I used uh, what did I I think this is the uh, Here somewhere. Big twist, plush, something like that. Anyway, the, the skeins are still upstairs, so. But, um, and I did uh, a six and a half millimeter hook, and I did 30 millimeter purple safety eyes because there's a little bit of light purple in the shell. So I made another Tian of the Turtle. Like, I never get sick of making turtles. Um, I don't have a lot of turtles, but I haven't been selling a lot of the turtles either, so I don't know if I should keep making them and stock up and hopefully I sell some for my busier markets at Christmas time. I just don't know what to do. But anyway, I made another turtle. She's really, really cute. I love this, this yarn. So that's what I got crocheted. So far, this, well, I'm going to be getting my video up soon, so um, I won't be getting any more crochet crocheting done. But the spider bag was just getting under my skin, and I know I said I wasn't going to make any more, but I'm a stubborn girl. Like, I don't like to give up too easily, but now I can confidently say <laughs> um, I will not be making any more spider bags. Um... I made two more and I, I just don't, I, I, I'm confident to say that I don't care for the design. I love the bag, it's super cute, but um, oh, it's just, this, this bag is frustrating the heck out of me. Um, so I crocheted all day yesterday, I watched my hockey game. Um, I went and got a, a coffee first thing this morning. I had breakfast and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to make another bag. Now that I thought I had all the kinks worked out of it. So I made this one. And somebody had gift, gifted me some vinyl scraps last year. And I hadn't dipped into them. So that I'm like, I'm going to use the navy scraps and make another bag. Um, and my husband has some flat weights, so I made the bag last night um, before my hockey game, and I actually laid the weight right on the seam, just like the person who designed the bag says to do, which I, again, don't think you should have to do that, but I did. Anyway, I ran the bag from start to finish exactly how they say to do it. And... It, it turned out like okay but like this is where you fold your fabric in and close the hole and just having that little bit of like you to me it's really noticeable you probably can't see it that well on camera 
but if I'm making and selling these bags, I want my seam to be inside the bag on the bottom where you're not going to see it, right? Where you're not going to see it. So I'm like, I'm going to run one more and I'm going to make the hole in the bottom of the bag. So that's what I did for this one. And I don't know why I use my good vinyl for this. I use, because I wanted to use my new zipper and I wanted to use my purple vinyl. Um, so the only changes I made to this purse was instead of having the hole to close up here, I did it in the bottom of the purse. Well, because the bottom of the purse is shaped like this, <laughs> wasn't even thinking at the time, um, it's not just a round, smooth curve, it's, it's like this, okay? So when I went to close the hole, my, it, it just, it didn't work. And you probably can't tell on camera, but when I turn my bag inside out, it's all lumpy and clumpy in the bottom of the bag. And I think they have you do it the way they do it because if you don't, like your vinyl seam, I don't know, it's just, now I put the weights on this one too, but as you can see, it's not, it's not, it's not laying flat. So I think the hole for the closure is meant to be at the top of the bag. I don't like that. I will not be running any more of these bags. Um, this is the best bag out of all of them. And I don't even know if I want to sell this because, again, I don't think I like that pucker. It's a pucker. So I will not be running any more spider bags. Um, I'm done with the spider bags. I might look for another spider purse because I think these are really cool. Like, I love this bag. But I, I, don't love, I don't love how it's designed. And I'm done with the spider bags. I'm not saying anything more about it. If you have this pattern, works for you, awesome. I'm happy for you. This does not work for me. Um, I wasted a lot of vinyl, a lot of time. And sometimes you do have to tweak things to make it work for you. But this for me was epic fail. Um, and the other one I will give to Brenda. She can give it to her sister. Um, but this one I'll just keep for myself. Um, I could throw it in a clearance bin, you know, whatever. But this vinyl piece up here like I had heavy weights on this all last night and it's still not laying flat so I'm done I'm done with the spider bags done with the spider bags so I'm gonna jump off I'm going to get my video up and load it for you guys oh and the first day of my promotion at work went pretty smoothly um, so that's pretty good news um, cause I was stewing about that all Wednesday. Um, but no, it went good. So that's good. Oh, I had one of the dogs come out at me Friday morning. The same house with the eight dogs. I called 311 again, reported it. I'm still waiting for the animal control officer to call me back. Um, I might just take these people to court because I'm sick of it. I am so sick of eight dogs. And every time one gets loose, it's a different dog. It's never the same dog. So I'm going to start filming my walk every day. And I will eventually catch a dog off their property. Because I don't think I want to take them to court until I actually have video proof. And it won't take long for me to get it. Because... This is the third time I've called since May. So my rant continues. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm a ranty, crazy woman. But, yeah. Anywho. Anywho, I'm done. I, I'm going to... Um, next video will will be better, I promise. <laughs> um, but this really irked me so bad. Like, look how pretty it is. <sighs> I might have to go look for another spider design. <laughs> but you can't tell by a picture online, like, the troubles that you're going to have. Anyway... I'm done. Rant over. We'll see you next week. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who had wonderful comments on my last video. Um, I was a little stressed out, you know, not saying where I got my vinyl. And the outpouring of love and support that I got from everybody. Well, I did have one person in the comments ask me where I got my vinyl. I didn't even respond because I'm like, obviously you didn't watch my video because I said I wasn't going to say where I got my vinyl. So one comment I ignored. The rest were awesome comments. Made me feel so good. I was almost in tears. I was so overwhelmed by the um, outpouring of love. And I did put another order in for some more vinyl just in case they sell well. I don't want to be stuck without being able to run some more. Like in the last two week crunch like at Christmas time. So I ordered some more of the same vinyl and then I ordered a few more different um, designs as well. So I'm excited about that. I should get it within two weeks. Um, so we'll see you next week. Thank you everybody. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.